Hello, science fans, Bill Nye here, and today I'm thrilled to share some electrifying news from the world of renewable energy. Let's dive into something truly fascinating happening right now in Japan, a groundbreaking power plant that actually runs on the meeting of salt water and fresh water. That's right, it's not just science fiction, it's real, and it's happening as we speak. In the vibrant city of Fukuoka, located on the beautiful Kyushu Island, a team of innovative scientists and engineers have constructed Japan's very first osmotic power plant. This is a major milestone for the country and for clean energy worldwide. But this isn't just any ordinary power plant. It's a bold step forward, a real glimpse into what the future of sustainable, clean energy could look like for all of us. In fact, it's only the second commercial-scale osmotic power plant in the entire world making it a true pioneer in the field of renewable energy technology. The plant is cleverly located right where the river meets the sea, taking advantage of a natural phenomenon called osmosis. This is the same process that allows trees to draw water up from their roots all the way to their leaves and now, it's being used to generate electricity. By harnessing this gentle yet powerful force of nature, the plant is able to generate electricity without burning any fossil fuels. That means no smoke, no pollution, and absolutely no greenhouse gases, just pure, clean power flowing from nature itself. It's a quiet, steady, and reliable source of energy, operating day and night, and it's helping to put Japan at the very forefront of renewable energy innovation. As the world urgently searches for alternatives to coal, oil, and other polluting energy sources, this plant offers a new and inspiring path forward, one that works in harmony with nature instead of against it. This is more than just a technological achievement, it's a story of scientific discovery, creative problem solving, and a city that's daring to try something bold and new for the benefit of future generations. So, get ready to dive in with me. Let's explore together how the simple act of mixing salt water and fresh water is creating a powerful new current of energy that could help shape a cleaner, brighter future for us all. It's going to be an exciting and fun ride, so buckle up and let's get started on this amazing journey into the future of energy. Why Fukuoka? It's all about location. Fukuoka sits on the Genkai Sea with rivers like the Naka River flowing right into it. That means an endless supply of both seawater and fresh water, exactly what an osmotic power plant needs. The plant is part of a water reclamation center using treated fresh water before it returns to the sea, making the process super efficient. This smart integration shows how cities can connect systems for cleaner, smarter living. Right now, the Fukuoka plant is a demonstration project generating enough electricity for a few dozen homes. The real goal? Prove the technology works and can scale up. It's a clean, local power source, reducing reliance on distant energy. Fukuoka is becoming a leader in green tech, attracting scientists, engineers, and students. By embracing this, the city is building a reputation as a city of the future. It's a bold statement. Fukuoka is serious about tackling climate change. So, what is osmosis? Let's break it down in the simplest way possible. Osmosis is a simple, natural process that's happening all around us every single moment, even inside your own body. It's how plants drink up water from the soil, how your cells stay hydrated, and even how you feel refreshed after a glass of water. At its core, osmosis is the movement of water across a semi-permeable membrane. This special barrier lets water molecules pass through, but blocks out larger molecules like salt or sugar. It's like a bouncer at a club, only letting certain guests in. Picture a container split in half by this membrane. On one side you have pure fresh water, on the other, salty water. The membrane sits in the middle, separating the two. Water naturally moves from the freshwater side to the saltwater side, trying to even out the concentration. It's like water is on a mission to balance things out, always seeking harmony. As water moves, it creates a force called osmotic pressure. This pressure builds up as more water crosses over, and it's a key part of how osmosis works. Think of dropping a raisin into a glass of water. The raisin swells up as water moves inside it. That's osmosis in action, nature's way of moving water where it's needed. In the world of energy, we can actually capture the power created by this natural movement. This is called osmotic power, or blue energy. When fresh water rushes towards salt water through a membrane, it generates pressure, a gentle but surprisingly powerful force that can be harnessed. Imagine the mouth of a river, where tons of fresh water meet the salty ocean. With enough water, the pressure created here can be used to generate clean, renewable energy. 
By building special systems and using advanced membranes, we can catch that pressure and turn it into electricity. No pollution, just pure science. It's a brilliant example of how we can use nature's own tricks to power our future in a clean and sustainable way. That's the magic behind blue energy, using the natural flow of water to create power for our world. Now let's dive in and see exactly how an osmotic power plant puts this amazing process to work. Let's break down how the Fukuoka plant turns the simple process of osmosis into a powerful source of electricity. This innovative facility is a great example of how science can be used to create clean energy from natural resources. Step 1. The plant begins by drawing in seawater directly from the ocean, along with treated freshwater that comes from the city's water supply. These two types of water are essential for the process to work, and the plant is carefully designed to handle both efficiently. Step 2. Both the seawater and freshwater are pumped into special modules packed with semi-permeable membranes. These membranes are rolled up tightly to maximize the surface area, allowing more water to interact and making the process much more effective. Inside these modules, fresh water naturally moves through the membrane into the saltwater side, thanks to osmosis. This movement creates a difference in pressure, with the saltwater side becoming highly pressurized. This pressure builds up steadily, much like inflating a balloon, but instead of air, it's water that's being compressed. The pressure is harnessed and stored, ready to be put to work. Step 3. The pressurized salt water is then channeled through a pipe and directed at a turbine. Imagine a water wheel being spun by a rushing river. Here the turbine spins rapidly as the pressurized water flows through it. The spinning turbine is connected to a generator. As the turbine turns, it converts the mechanical energy of the spinning motion into electrical energy, which can then be used to power homes and businesses. The clean green electricity produced by the generator flows out to the electrical grid, providing renewable energy to the surrounding area and helping reduce reliance on fossil fuels. After the process is complete, the water, now just a little less salty than before, is safely returned to the sea. This ensures that the environment remains unharmed and the cycle can continue. It's a brilliant and highly efficient process. There's no pollution, no harmful emissions, just the natural power of water and science working together. That's how the Fukuoka plant transforms a simple scientific principle into real-world, sustainable energy that benefits everyone. It's a perfect example of science and engineering working hand-in-hand, -hand, combining creativity, technology, and teamwork to solve real problems. Let's explore why this kind of innovation is so important for the future of energy and how it could help create a cleaner, greener world for generations to come. When we think of renewables, solar and wind come to mind, but they're not always available. Osmotic power is different. As long as rivers flow into the sea, it generates electricity 24 7 That makes it a reliable, steady source, what we call baseload power. It keeps cities running, day and night, regardless of weather. Plus, osmotic plants have a small environmental footprint. They can be built compactly at water treatment sites, blending into the landscape. No noisy turbines, no sprawling fields, just quiet, efficient energy. The process is gentle on the environment, releasing only brackish water, something that happens naturally in estuaries. No pollutants, no greenhouse gases. Compared to other sources, osmotic power is incredibly eco-friendly. It's a win for people and the planet. Reliable, clean, and sustainable, what more could we ask for? That's why osmotic power is such a game-changer. Fukuoka's plant is a big leap, but Japan isn't alone in this. The first prototype osmotic plant opened in Norway in 2009, proving the concept works outside the lab. The Netherlands, experts in water management, are pushing blue energy research at the Afsluitdijk, testing new membranes and boosting efficiency. It's a global effort. Teams in the US, South Korea, Singapore and beyond are exploring new ways to harness osmosis. Some are even using reverse osmosis for desalination with big energy implications. If we could tap just a fraction of the energy from all the world's rivers meeting the sea, we could power hundreds of millions of homes. Each new plant adds knowledge, helping us build better, more efficient systems. It's international collaboration, all working toward a sustainable energy future. Osmotic power is promising, but it's not perfect yet. The biggest challenge? Cost, especially the high-tech membranes, which are expensive to make and need to be used in huge numbers. 
Membrane efficiency is another hurdle. Some salt sneaks through, reducing pressure and efficiency. Membranes can also get clogged by particles or algae, a problem called biofouling, requiring cleaning or replacement. Pumping water into the system uses energy, so the goal is to generate much more than you use. Engineers are working to improve pumps, membranes, and system design to boost efficiency. Scaling up is another challenge. Moving from a small demo plant to a city-sized facility brings new engineering puzzles. We need to build bigger, cost-effective, and environmentally responsible plants. These are tough problems, but they're exactly what scientists and engineers love to solve. Every improvement brings us closer to making osmotic power a major player. The journey is just beginning. For every challenge, there's a solution in the works. Researchers are developing new, cheaper membranes, some using graphene, a super strong, ultra-thin material. Mass production is driving costs down, just like with solar panels. To fight biofouling, scientists are designing slippery, self-cleaning membranes and pre-filtering water before it reaches the system. Engineers are making turbines and system designs more efficient, using computer models to optimize every step. Some are even combining osmotic power with desalination for hybrid plants. Every lesson from Fukuoka helps build the next generation of plants. Science is a marathon, not a sprint, and every step brings us closer to a cleaner future. Imagine a world where coastal cities have their own clean, reliable energy, thanks to osmotic power. As technology improves and costs drop, we could see hundreds of blue energy plants worldwide. For island nations and remote communities, this means energy independence, no more importing polluting fuels. It's a local, sustainable power source that creates jobs and opportunities. Osmotic power could transform lives, especially in the developing world. The Fukuoka plant shows the power of curiosity and perseverance. Solutions often come from nature. Investing in science and daring to try new things is key. The clean energy future will use many technologies, solar, wind, geothermal, and osmotic power working together. Stay curious, share what you learn, and support innovation. The future is something we build together, one salty, science-powered step at a time. Let's keep moving forward.